All right, well, here's the circuit diagram for that last video that I did about the uh, looper testing. And um, I'm just going to call this the looper tester. And you can stop this and study it. It's rather simple. It's just a uh, bifiler coil setup with a uh, 2 and 222 two, two NPN. There's the uh, coil. 30 gauge at uh, 29 ohms and 26 gauge at 16 ohms. It's bifiler air core coil. I don't know how many turns. It's just hundreds of turns. Uh, what's kind of unusual about this is, is the uh, drive coil is the fine wire and the uh, trigger coil is the heavier wire. And there's the 1N4007 uh, flyback diode that I got the switch so that you can energize the flyback or not. And then uh, this is the capacitor setup, which is rather interesting. Uh, with the uh, polycene, polyacene cap battery, I guess they call it. It's rated at 0.5 farads at 3 volts. And that's the 10 microfarad 16 volt tallium capacitor, a little tiny one. And I think uh, that combination has something to do with what I'm seeing here. Uh, initially, I thought it was the magnet spinning over the coils that was causing the generator effect. And I think that's correct, except now I'm seeing it without the magnet. And now I'm really confused. So uh, this is the date today, the 30th of May, 2014. Uh, power source is 3 volts. I've got this hooked up here, and you notice the... Uh, magnet mirror and the you pick up coil are not there and this is actually running now I got a little radio so you can hear it it's in oscillation it's self oscillating and I can use this pickup coil here this is a straight pickup coil and you can see the uh, it works just like an induction coil and that's without the magnet generating anything that's just a uh, Maggie being used as a uh, like a transformer pickup coil. But watch this now. This is where I'm rather confused. I'm going to pull this off again and then move this switch back and forth here which energizes the uh, recovery diode. This is the 1N4007 flyback recovery that takes the thin wire coil, the 30 gauge coil wire, and captures the flyback and shoots it back into this capacitor arrangement which is that uh, cap battery, that half farad cap battery with the little uh, 10 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor in parallel with it. And watch what happens here. I'm gonna, you know, I, I'm sorry about not being able to show you the whole thing here. People are gonna think I've, I've been tapping the battery so I'm gonna pull the battery off completely here. There goes the battery. Watch this voltage as I move the switch back and forth. See it go up? That's with the loop on. There it goes down. That's with the loop off. This is with the loop on. This is with the loop off. Loop on. Loop off. This continues to decrease after a while. This will go up, then it will start going back down again. I'm thinking perhaps what I'm seeing here is a capacitor battery bounce back is what I'm seeing. And that's my theory at this point here is uh, this uh, flyback thing that I'm seeing here with this loop off and then loop back on again may be a recovery phenomenon with that capacitor arrangement right there. Anyway, that's what I... Uh, did today was took a look at this without the the magnet running on the on the over the coil thanks for watching